Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today we are going to be going through this week's Forzathon event uh, which wants you to use a very cool and retro car which is the 1992 Honda NSX-R um, which of course a lot of you guys will know as a massive sort of Jap icon. Now you can pick this up in the auto show for I think it's 90,000 credits uh, but bear in mind there is obviously two Honda NSX's in the auto show. Now this is the one you want to go with for 90,000 credits, the 1992 NSX-R. Uh, but beware, there is the NSXR GT, which is a 2005 model, which you cannot use. Now, of course, I've created a tune, as I normally do. It's called Forzathon Tune, uh, and it's available on my storefront, Stezza01. It's packing 570 brakes, not too shabby. Now, the first challenge here just wants you to reach 175 mile an hour in your NSX, uh, which is nice and easy to do. So if, like me, you start at the Forzathon uh, sorry the Forza Horizon Festival site as soon as you turn right there is a long straight road it's the one with the speed trap on it uh, and you can very easily hit 175 mile an hour plus on there especially with this tune uh, but if you don't start there for instance you can always just hit up the freeway or really any straight long road uh, will do the job now the next challenge just wants you to win three road sprint events so make sure you pick a sprint and not a circuit uh, or you could just go with this one so if you head over to the lake Hurst Forest Sprint, uh, you'll see that I have created a race for you guys to use, which I'm sure you would have seen in a few of my Forzathon videos. Um, so it's called Super Quick, uh, and the share code for this is 20867282. So all you have to do is type that in uh, under the blueprint, and this race will pop up. So again, I'm sure you're all familiar with this if you've seen my previous Forzathon videos uh, it's just one of the quick races that literally takes less than 10 seconds to do uh, and the AI I just send them off onto a little route into the woods to get them out your way and the best thing is you can do this on whatever difficulty you want as well not that it really makes a massive difference now the final challenge just wants you to earn 10 air skills uh, and this is a nice and easy one to finish off this week's Forzathon with now there's a few places you can do this really anywhere that's sort of bumpy uh, particularly the mud kickers adventure park is a very good place to get it done uh, there's loads and loads of jumps there but where I went is to the sand dunes just by Bamba Castle uh, the reason for this is there's lots of little sort of sand dunes so it's really really quick and easy to get 10 air skills uh, in this location it's not too difficult at all um, and especially with this car because you can build up enough speed to sort of make sure they are proper air skills but again it doesn't matter if it's an air or an ultimate air or awesome air or whatever uh, as long as you just get 10 air skills of any kind you'll complete this challenge very very quickly so overall this falls of thumb will take literally less than 10 minutes it's a really really nice and easy one in fact it was the second ever forza thon on forza horizon 4 um, i had to look back through my old videos and i found it there it was literally the second week after forza horizon 4 was released this forza thon cropped up uh, but anyway guys i hope that you enjoyed this video and i hope it helped you out uh, but most importantly i hope you are all staying safe uh, during these obviously dodgy times with the whole coronavirus going around but i'm sure that you guys are and i really do wish you all the best of health but apart from that guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it helped you out if it did i would very much appreciate if you could drop a like and if you're new to the channel to subscribe as well but apart from that guys thank you very much all the best stay safe and take care